Steven Mead again, back with another Bullseye Guy podcast, and want to start out with Facebook. I have a love-hate relationship with Facebook. It goes back many, many years. I actually tried to beat Facebook before they were Facebook. I was on a panel with Mark Zuckerberg. I can't even remember a bit. Back in the 2000s, Stanford, they were still the Facebook, and I knew MySpace was going to collapse, for those of you old enough to remember MySpace. You could just feel it coming, and I was trying to build something better, and I sort of missed it. Obviously, Mark's done a good job. Um, let's fast forward, though. Facebook Libra. Seeing all kinds of notes on crypto and taking over and government intervention and Facebook banking. Let's talk about what I think it is. Facebook Libra could be a lot of things. What is it really? Glorified gift card, glorified credits. And I don't mean that bad. If you think about it, years ago, Facebook tried something called Facebook credits. And the idea was you got Facebook credits to spend on things. And it was just a little bit too early. Facebook Libra, I think personally is gonna act it the same way. But let's talk about something different before we talk about something present. WhatsApp and WeChat. Those of you that are technical probably know what I mean. WeChat is this communication tool, really popular, mostly in Asia and China. But within WeChat, you can actually store money and use it to pay for things. You can send money to your friends. You can buy things online. You can pay for mangoes. How does it work? You put money in. WeChat gives you WeChat credits. And then you can spend those credits within the WeChat network. Pretty simple. Going to give you a different example, and then we'll finish with Facebook. Starbucks. Ever used a Starbucks card? I know I have. What is a Starbucks card really? It's digital money. It's a cryptocurrency. I don't want to call it a cryptocurrency. Let's call it a stable coin. Here's all it really is. You put $100 on your Starbucks card. I wish I had one here. It would have been a better prop. Where does that $100 go? That's right, to Starbucks. Now you walk around with your phone that tells you you have a balance on it. It's not real money. At that point, it's digital. You walk up to the Starbucks register, you present your phone, they take money out of the account. Here's what's important. Whose money is that count, or whose account is that money sitting in? Not in yours. It's in Starbucks. Starbucks has an estimated 1.2 billion with a B billion dollars of your money sitting in their bank account. They're a mid-tier bank. Now they're not running around saying, oh, we've got a Starbucks currency, we've got a cryptocurrency, we're a digital payment. They're a digital payment solution. What's Facebook Libra gonna be? You're gonna give your money to Facebook, they're gonna put it in an account, billions of dollars, and they're gonna sit around in a sweep account and they're gonna make money on your money. They can charge little transactions fees, but Facebook Libra, at least initially, could be designed to compete with WeChat. Why is that important? There's another app called WhatsApp. If you didn't follow the notice on that, Facebook owns WhatsApp. They paid 17, I believe, don't hold it to me, $17 billion for WhatsApp. WhatsApp doesn't have payment. WeChat has payment. Guys, see this here? It's not cryptocurrency. It's not banking. It is. It's glorified gift cards. It's electronic money. You give Facebook your $100. They give you Facebook Libra credits. And now you can spend that on other things within Facebook. It could be for games. It could be for things in the marketplace. It could be and should be for advertising. Could you imagine if Facebook went to their advertisers and said, we're not taking your money? Oh no. If you want to do business with Facebook, you have to buy the Libra token. So that 50, 60, 80, 100, $200,000 the advertiser is about to spend goes into Facebook, sits there in their account, they make money, and then the advertiser has to use those credits to pay the invoices and the bills. Facebook can make a ton of money. Do they become a bank? No, but technically they sort of are. If you think of Starbucks, there's all kinds of articles out there saying Starbucks technically should be a bank. They're holding a billion dollars of your money. 
Why? We like the convenience. We like the ability to order on our phone and walk in Starbucks and present our phone and make a payment. That's a digital currency. Maybe not a cryptocurrency, it's a digital payment. So am I afraid of Libra? No, not really. I think it's just gonna be another credit inside a closed system. Eventually it may factor out, you may be able to send money to your friends. I can do that now, PayPal, Zelle, there's a, a thousand, not a thousand, again, hyperbole. Many, many other solutions. Facebook has a community who may want to do business and transact easier, and Facebook within WhatsApp makes a lot of sense. That's my Facebook Libra. That's the Bullseye Podcast. I hope you enjoy.